My name is Wilma Liebman. I live in Washington, D.C. I've spent a career as a traditional labor lawyer, first representing labor unions, and then uh, spending nearly 14 years as a member and then chairman of the National Labor Relations Board, the federal agency that enforces the statute that guarantees workers the right to organize, engage in collective action, and collectively bargain with their employers. Since then, I have taught at NYU Law School. I've uh, co-authored a, a comparative law study of crowd work platforms, and uh, I am now co-chair of the Council of Advisors of the Institute for a Cooperative uh, Digital Economy, launched here at the New School, uh, the research arm of the Platform Cooperative Consortium. Uh, I'm very impressed by some of the uh, thinking and activism going on today, including impressive experiments with worker, go go worker ownership and governance. To some extent, the debates going on today resemble those of a century ago over the labor question, uh, namely the irreconcilable difference between the promise of this nation of freedom and the unfreedom in, of most industrial organizations. De industrial democracy was thought to be the answer to the labor question, but what that term meant was subject to oh, very diverse interpretations. Some unions favored worker ownership of factories or a cooperative, or com a cooperative commonwealth. Some unions favored collective bargaining. Employers, for their part, anxious to forestall the growth of independent trade unions, implemented corporate welfare programs and company unions. In 1935, the National Labor Relations Act was enacted, and it embodied the choice of this nation in the collective bargaining model of industrial democracy. For many decades, that model worked. Millions of people enjoyed some measure of workplace democracy and economic advance, the middle class swelled. But since the late 1970s, that model has been in steady decline. Wages have stagnated, work has become precarious, inequality has soared, and democratic institutions are under stress. But against these threats, there is impressive innovation and thinking going on, a dynamism that we haven't seen in decades the labor questions back on the table. And platform cooperative experiments are an exciting example of this innovative thinking. Experiments are going on here and abroad. Many people see these experiments as offering a, promise, a promising opportunity for restoring democracy and economic security in our country.